Hey gun people, uh, gonna go over a couple of uh, questions about this uh, hanging sling here. I had a couple comments on how I hang this uh, this gun and what I had on there before. And I finally found my uh, other rope. And you can buy this uh, gear at any repel shop where they sell repelling gear and there's different sizes uh, you can get this thickness, you can get this thickness uh, this is a loop and this is a thinner one so we've got four different sizes here and again I, I've got all this from our repelling gear uh, this one you'll notice you can buy this in straight or you can get it where it's sewn together now this sewn together is just makes it really really strong so you don't have to tie a knot. So if I'm hooking in to a, uh, to a D ring and I've got a couple of repelling, this just makes it easy for me to hook into this if I'm going to repel. And I can either hook this to something and hang it and then hook my other D ring here or I can hook this over something small like so and hook into both of them and then that will hold me and I can repel like that and, and now I have a good uh, tie off point depending on how big I want to go around so that's what I was using because I couldn't find my loose string so in the other video you notice on this one all I did was kinda make this into a loop put that around my gun barrel and then I hung this on my M16 and then I started looking around and I'm like you know what I gotta find this other webbing so I found this loose webbing uh, and on this one I just tied it right on here to my Colt I just put it through the uh, through the little there's a little bitty gap there I slide that ribbon through tied a water knot which I'm going to show you how to do here real quick I think I might have another video and now I can just hang this on my D-ring on my shirt and now I have pretty much a one point sling uh, it comes off easy I can kick it in and out so I mean obviously you can get black whatever color you want uh, this purple ain't going to show up that bad at night I'm not worried about the color um, if the if this black ribbon was a little bit thinner I'd probably use black but it's a little bit thicker and heavier and I just really don't need it because this this string is extremely or this webbing is extremely strong so as far as this one what I'm going to do as I don't have a sling. Hi, monkey. What are you doing? <laughs> he heard me doing. So I don't have a sling on this one. So what I would do is I would just put this through here, obviously. And now I'm just going to tie this in a water knot. And I would cut this for as long as I wanted. Now a water knot takes up quite a bit of things. So this may look long. And uh, before you really tighten up your water knot, you may want to make sure you got the right thing. But this is the same distance before it's tied that's this one that's tied so you can tell they're the same distance but look how much longer it looks because I haven't tied that water knot but they're the same length these two strings so uh... let's do the uh... water knot here and I'm going to show you up close and I'm going to use the black webbing because it's a little bit thicker to show you this water knot. And basically a water knot is you just take one side and you can look this up and you just do a little overhand knot. So now I have an overhand knot. That's all I have. And now what I'm going to do for a water knot is I'm going to take this other loose piece here and I'm going to follow this ribbon all the way around. So here's the ribbon. I'm going to come in behind it. I'm going to go up. All I'm doing is tracing this knot. It goes around. So I'm doubling the knot. It goes under. And then it comes right back through the knot. Which is right through here. I'm really trying to keep this out of the way with my fingers. So it comes right back through there. 
So now basically I have double strand this knot. It's exactly the same. Let me try to get the sucker tight. And then you just kind of like tighten it up, making sure you pull on each one individually to keep the knot nice and tight and equal so you have straight lines and then that's complete and that's your water knot you have two little loose ends here so if, if I tied it right if I was tying for this for the thing I would make sure these are a lot closer and I would adjust it but that's basically a water knot now I could repel on that other one I could repel off this right now I could put this over a loop hook a d-ring through it and repel that knot that water knot's gonna hold the only problem I have with a water knot is it tends to uh, once it gets tightened it's hard to get undone so when you tie it once you really put torque and tension on it it's going to be hard to get undone and this ribbon is good for a lot of things to keep in your to go I, I, I've got my my little vest there recon vest uh, chest rig whatever you want to call it and keeping some ribbon in there it has a lot of uses um, I mean this little strap here uh, if I had this little piece on my rig, I could use this for all kind of things. I can do a quick uh, set of handcuffs, tie these like so, put two hands in here, and when you pull these, it tightens up on the hands, and that person ain't getting away. You rip those around, and that's a great set of temporary handcuffs for these. The other thing I can do is I can put a couple of uh, little bowling knots on here, up through the hole around down. So I've got a little bowling knot there, which obviously I didn't finish because I'm going in a hurry. So there's one bowling knot with a little loop there. Put another one on the other side. And again, I can use these for different things. If I time, I can put it in my hand. I can use this as an extension to help a buddy over a wall to grab somebody, to let somebody give me a little extension, they grab onto that. I grab onto this, it gives me a lot of pulling power. I can help them that way. Um, I can put this around somebody's neck by crossing it like so. And when once it gets around the neck on cross, I can pull sideways and they're gonna go out pretty quick. It's gonna squeeze the, the neck and you're gonna, you're gonna be out. So, uh, I mean, these ribbons can do a lot of things. If I was up in a tree, Catching a ranger nap, sleeping. A lot of times you may climb on the ground. I don't like sleeping on the ground, so I'll sleep in a tree. So I climb up a tree. I can hook myself, tie this up to a limb, hook myself in a D-ring on this, and if I end up falling asleep and almost slipping, this is going to save me from falling out of the tree. Uh, a lot of guys will use their belt to tie themselves in or whatever, but having a ribbon, tie yourselves in a tree, handcuffs, uh, choking, uh, extension. I mean, there's all kinds of uses for this. So I always like to keep a little ribbon in there and I'll have some of this ribbon in there I just don't know which one I'm gonna put in yet um, so basically that's kinda of what I want to do I didn't uh, tie this one on here oh. on that damn ribbon so uh, if this one is here again if I'm gonna hang it I'm gonna loop through there if I want to hang this somewhere else and just keep this um, I keep an AR in my closet hanging on a hanger and then I put a jacket around it so if somebody comes in and checks the ground and they're looking for weapons and they break into my house they're not going to see this hanging because I have a long coat around it and it's hanging on a coat hanger so unless they check each bag and each coat to fill if there's something in there they're not going to find this weapon and then I know where it's at so I can get to it uh, again you can store it you know on a coat rack hang your gun then put a coat over it that's a good place to keep your gun um, I mean, it, they just come in handy. I, I mean, a D-ring has a lot of uses, a lot of quick releases, a lot of hanging. Uh, they're strong. I'm not sure what the uh, what the tensile strain of this is, but it's something K. I, I forgot. I used to know all this when I was repelling. This is 20. Is it 25 kn or something? I mean, it's well over a thousand pounds, so it's going to hold quite a few people. Uh, anyway. Hey, Moki, I didn't see you back there. What are you doing? You got a little mousy? Is that what you got? You got a little mousy back there? I know. He's a good old Moki. You got to get a mousy and punch him out. All right. So, uh, 
that's the webbing. That's how I hook it up. That's how I tie it. Uh, it's good to have in your to-go bag, your get-out-of-dodge bag, uh, whatever you use. He's going to check my scope out, Sniper Kitty. Take a shot, Smokey. Rack around, bud. All right, I guess we'll end that there. Smokey, you're a good boy. He saw the mousey over there somewhere. <laughs>